Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Broly's Minecraft playthrough on Better Than Adventure. We're back. This is the first time I've played on this in a few months, I think. Since I haven't planned it since I've been at college, but we're back. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to do another NFL analysis video. I'll give my thoughts on the various teams and stuff over week 5. So let's just get right into it. Oh, I'm also going to be finishing up this build from uh, the last episode. Alright, so the first like teams I want to talk about are the NFC South, because I think they're the most interesting. So in my predictions video, I said that the Saints are probably going to be the best team in this division. They had Derek Carr, they had good offensive players, they had good defensive players. But I also said that the Falcons could also be uh, a sneaky team, and they could do really well too. And I think I predicted that the Panthers are going to be mid, and the Bucks are going to be really bad, like top 5 worst teams in the league. Now that is not actually what ended up happening. The Bucks might be the best team in the division. Baker Mayfield has been playing very well, their defense is still really good. Mike Evans has been doing really good. But yeah, overall, they're just, they're doing a lot better than people thought they would be. Alright, now I'm going to just go my own again, because I don't know what else to do. The Falcons, I've been kind of doing how I predicted they would be going. They're not, like, that good, but they have a winning record. They have, I really like their team, because they have a bunch of swag to them. Their coach does not care about fantasy football at all. Refuses to throw it to Kyle Pitts. Refuses to use Tyler Algier. He's probably going to have Desmond Ritter be the starting QB the entire year. But it's working. They beat the Texans today. They kind of got owned by the Lions and Jaguars. But those are like two actual teams. The Falcons are good enough that they can beat most teams. I should just mine a different direction. The Saints, on the other hand, they're also... They, I think they have a winning record right now. In fact, yeah, I think they like destroyed the Patriots today. But... They aren't really doing as good as people thought they would be doing. Like, people thought they would have the NFC South locked up, when in reality, it seems like they're gonna be, like, fine to win over both the Bucks and the Falcons. And then if they don't win the NFC South, they might not even make the playoffs. Derek Carr has been inconsistent, although he did just have a good game, I think. Jamal Williams is on injury reserve, which I think probably hurt them. But yeah, overall, the NFC South is a lot more competitive than we thought they were gonna be. There might be a fourth team in there somewhere, but I don't really know. I don't think so. I think it's just three teams. Alright, now going to the opposite side of the country, we have the AFC North, which is just a complete dumpster fire. It's like... Ooh, diamonds. It's not completely trash. Because I, I don't think you can like genuinely say that about any team that's there. But at the same time, they all have like... Really weird games. Like, first you have the Bengals, which I thought they were going to win the Super Bowl this year. And they got off to, like, a really bad start, though. They're, they might be the worst team in the division. They did, they did good against the Cardinals today. Jamar Chase had, like, a career day. Great for my fantasy team. But overall, they're in a bunch of trouble. Uh, the Steelers has, like... You could argue that they have the worst offense in all of football right now, I feel like. Just because their quarterback isn't great. They have, like... No wide receivers or running backs. They take too many sacks. They can't move the ball down the field. But they have a positive record because they get bailed out by their defense. And then, today, they got completely owned by the Ravens for like three quarters, but then came back to win. Because the Ravens also kind of suck in offense too. They don't have a really good wide receivers. The Ravens have spent so much time and effort trying to get people that Lamar can throw to. And it never works out. And then there's the Browns, which I think might be the best team in the league. Maybe I'm being too harsh on the Ravens, but I saw what I saw today. I don't have any faith in them anymore. But the Browns, like, they also, their quarterback isn't great. Deshaun Watson, he might be hurt now. And their backup QB is even worse somehow. Overall, it's just a very weird division. They're either the best division in football or the worst division in football. I can't tell which one they are. As for individual players, I've really been liking this season. I don't think I've ever seen a white boy with more soul than Sam Laporta. He has swag. He has skills. He's fast, which is insane for a tight end. He doesn't date Travis Kelsey. I mean, I guess that's true. He doesn't date Travis Kelsey. He doesn't date Taylor Swift. 
He probably listens to Baby Chan. The NFL needs more Baby Chan and less Taylor Swift. But yeah, Sam Laporte might actually be a serious candidate for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Because, uh, I mean, Bryce Young's not going to win it. CJ Stroud has been playing pretty... He, CJ Stroud's probably a front runner, but if you want to be, like, a nerd and pick, like, an upstanding pick, he'd go Sam Laporta. And Anthony Richardson gets injured way too much. He's already been injured twice. Maybe maybe three times, actually. 49ers, they're probably the best team in football right now, unless the Cowboys beat them tonight, which I think is unlikely. Big Cock Brock is unstoppable. He only has one career loss in, like, his 10, 12 games he's played. Even if they do lose tonight, it's like they're playing the Cowboys, which are supposed to be a good team, so... It's not like, you know, when the, the Cowboys themselves lost to the Cardinals. Oh, I've been liking Sam Howell a lot, too. He's the QB for the Washington Commanders. The Commanders are a very weird team. You know, in week four, they almost beat the Eagles at the game going to overtime. In week five, they get blown out by the Chicago Bears, who are the worst team in football right now. I feel like Sam Howell... Especially for what is essentially a rookie, he played one game last year. Has been doing enough that I think they should consider keeping him around for a bit. See if he improves. Cause it's, he's not perfect, he's been taking a lot of sacks, which is also partly because of their O-line. But like, it's, I don't think it's like Desmond Ritter, where it's kind of clear that even if they don't bench him at all this year, they're probably going to try to find a replacement next year. I think Sam Howell will stick around for a bit. Alright, and then the last thing I want to touch on is once again ask the age-old question, is Justin Fields good? Because the Chicago Bears, I guess they did just win their first game. But if the, the season has been going the way their season's been going, they ha like have to, they're just going to draft Caleb Williams, right? There's no other thing to do. Because even if Justin Fields... You think he isn't that bad, Caleb Williams is still probably better. The Chicago Bears desperately need to like complete restart because what they're doing has not been working for the past few years. But Christian Fields still isn't entirely trash. There's still teams who wanna like I'm sure there'd be teams who sign him or trade for him, honestly. Which is why I think and I've been kinda con this since like the start of the year. That Justin Fields will be a Atl Atlanta Falcon by like this time next year. I think it makes makes way too much sense with uh oh fuck which way was I going? I placed torches on the the left so. But yeah, I think Justin Fields will be an Atlanta Falcon with their like emphasis on the run game and stuff. I think it makes too much sense. You know, Desmond Ritter might be a better thrower than Justin Fields, but. I don't know, I have more faith in the Falcons organization that they could like make something out of him than the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears are not doing a lot with Justin Fields. He has not been progressing the way he's supposed to be progressing. Whoa, this is crazy. Alright, well that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I talked about everything I wanted to. See you guys next week for another awesome episode of this Let's Play.